Hey everyone, today we're talking about key signatures. That's the key of G. This is the key of D. Now how am I getting these? Where do key signatures come from? Let's take our first scale. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. That's our C Ionian or C major scale. How many notes are flatted or sharped? Zero. How can we represent that in a key signature? Boom, there it is. I'm in the key of C major. Now, in that C major scale, C, D, E, F, G was my fifth note. I'm going to take that fifth note and make a new scale. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, because whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half back to the root. How many sharps are in the key of G? One, and which note was it? Top line F. Hence getting the key of G major. Let's go further. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. Now let's go to the fifth degree of that. G, A, B, C, D. D, E, F sharp, because whole, whole, half, G, A, B, whole, that's a C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, how many sharps, how many notes are sharp in the key of D major, two, what are they, F sharp and C sharp, and I want to get used to making my keys, so here's the key of G, like we just did, now the key of D, is F sharp and C sharp. The next key is the key of A, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. It's the key of A major. How many sharps did G have? One, D had two, A has three. Eventually you want to start memorizing the key signature just by the look of how many sharps or flats or lack of there are in that key signature. Now you notice on the PDF I've got all of these list it out for you in order, you just keep going. There's a couple of tricks we can use to memorize these key signatures. I'm going to keep going here so I have a few more. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. Notice how I'm always using the same key signature for the next key, and then we add another one up, a perfect fifth. A, E is four. B will be the fifth, and that goes F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp. That's the key of B major. Let's keep going. F sharp is F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp. It's kind of a weird one. And then the key of C sharp goes F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, and then B sharp. So all of the Key signatures move in perfect fifths for the sharp keys, starting on C, which is technically not a sharp or a flat key, it's its own thing, it has no flats or sharps. On the piano, that's C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now, we've got all these key signatures on here, and please reference the PDF, it's much neater than my handwriting. There's a trick to memorizing your sharp keys. The last sharp is a half step below the root. In E, D sharp is a half step below the root E. So that helps when you just see a key signature and you try to uh, figure out what is that actual key. Let's do a couple of guesses here. I'll take off the PDF. Say you've got the key signature that looks like this. What key are we in? Well, here's the trick. The last sharp is a half step below the root. So that would be an A sharp, and that's below B. So that means, yep, this is the key of B major. That's the key of FC G sharp, A major, E major. 
F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. D sharp is the half step below E major. Okay, so that's how you memorize sharp keys. Now with flat keys, the first one is F. And it gets a B flat. Where does this come from? F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E. There's one flat. Whole, whole, half. Whole, 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 half. Still using major scale. And then, if there's any affected notes with sharps or flats, we put it into a new key signature. Now, instead of going to the fifth degree, F, G, A, B flat, well, we'll put it in, C, D, E, one, two, three, four, five, F, G, A, B flat, C, we've already done C. We want to go in fourths now to get all of our flat keys. So what's this first note? Well, it was the previous key, B flat. This had one. How many is that going to have? Two. Now you do your major scale. B flat, C, D, E, F, G, A, whole. That is B flat, whole, whole, half. Oh, D to E flat is a half. F, G, A. So now the key of B flat is B flat, E flat. What did I do? I kept all the sharps or flats from the previous key, put them in the new key. So automatically the next key, I'm going to go up to that fourth degree, that was B flat. Move it down here. B flat, C, D, E flat. That was my next key. F, G, A. So that key signature automatically goes there. Now I need to start on this note, E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D. Now my key of E flat has B flat, E flat, and A flat. We can keep going down the line. We're going to always go in a perfect fourth or to the fourth degree of the last scale, last key. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. Now we want D flat, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat. Now we want key of G flat. B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat. And for the key of C flat, which is kind of a hard key to comprehend, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, and F flat. All seven flats. Now there's a trick to memorizing your flat keys just like there was the, a trick to memorizing your sharp keys. With the sharp keys, the last affected note or the last sharp was a half step below. A little bit different here with flat keys. It works, this trick works on every, all of the flat keys except for the first one. So just try to memorize the first flat key is the key of F and it's got a B flat in it. That's a little bit of memorization. The rest, the second from B flat to C flat, the penultimate flat, the second to last flat, gives you the key itself. B flat, B flat, E flat, A flat, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat. See that? B, E, A, D, G flat. B, E, A, D, G, C flat. Right? So for the sharp keys, the last sharp was a half step below the root note. In the flat key, starting on the second key, B flat, the penultimate flat is the key itself. Okay? Now the last thing we want to talk about with key signatures is they each have a relative minor key. Actually, let's go back to C major. It's easiest to explain with C major. The key of C major, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Anything in the key signature? Nope. All natural notes. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Now we can say that this is the key signature of C major, or we can go to the sixth degree, this A, and we can say, hey, I'm going to use all of these notes, but center around this one in my new song and say that I'm in the key of A minor as far as my key signature. So let's try, how about the next sharp key? The key of G, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp because of the key signature. Now what was, we could say this is the key of G major. Or I could go to my sixth degree, one, two, three, four, five, six, E, 
and say that it's in the key of E minor. Memorize all your key signatures, try to use those two tricks, and also realize the relative minor of each key. So the key of G major was up to the sixth degree, and then you say that that sixth degree is my relative minor. What about the key of, let's do E major, good key for guitar players, E major. E, F, G, sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. What was the sixth degree? C sharp minor is the same key signature as E major. This was our C sharp minor. Let's do some more, let's do a little bit of quizzing. What key is that? B flat, E flat, A flat, well, the second to last flat, that's the key of E flat. Now if I go up the scale, E, F, G, A, B flat, C, D, I forgot to say E flat and A flat. E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, what was my sixth degree? One, two, three, four, five, six, that's a C flat, nope, just C minor. The key of C minor is the same as E flat major. Now the purpose of that is so reading music, all the notes will be over there as opposed to on the page while you're reading, like sharps and flats, because it just becomes a little busy for the eye to digest. That doesn't mean you won't have those occasionally in music if you read it. The other purpose of memorizing these key signatures is for soloing. On the guitar, we want to know our major and minor keys, then all the modes that uh, we, we base off of the major scale.